Hey, everybody. I think we're uh, ready to go. Yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I never could tell. I, I Using this system, I have to do it in a couple of different ways. And I have to make sure that everything is recording and going and so on and so forth. And if I even look over here, I can take a look and see uh, if it's working okay. Let me see here. If I go like that. Oh, there we go. And I'm talking and there we got some video. Okay, great. All right. We're ready to go. And you know, the only thing I didn't do, I turn on the lights. Let there be light. Okay. Anyway, we got a lot of people waiting to get in here. Wow. Seven of them. <laughs> I'll admit all of them at one time. And you can see them coming on as they're, they're just jumping in here like crazy. Oh, boy. Um, Rick, we don't have, there we go. We have a picture on Rick. Now we have everybody. Hello, everybody. How are you today? Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, hey. Good to see you. Yeah. Uh, we have Mike Chisholm up there in Canada. We have Jeffrey Stein. We have Rick Sheckman, my old friend Shecky, Steve hmm. Bender, uh, Charlie Wallace, Andrew Deutsch, and of course, the inimitable, inimitable uh, Len LaFrisco. Hello, Len. How are you? I'm good, Alex. Thank you. How's everybody's week been? Yeah, great. Great weekend. Yeah, great yeah. weekend. Well, how was it a great weekend, Charlie? You never leave. Yeah, an house. extra day of football. <laughs> <laughs> there were two games on Saturday. <laughs> how is it? You know, how is it watching football where there's no crowd and it's you know it's a uh, uh, what a phony laugh track. Oh, it's, it's really bizarre. You just ignore the, the, the track and just watch the game. Are these guys playing as well as they would normally play? I think so. Yeah. Okay, so they're giving it their all. How about you, yeah. Shecky? You're, you're into this stuff. The big problem is the sound mix, where the yeah. announcer's getting drowned out by the phony crowd noise. Yeah. Oh, really? Because they've got it pumped up so high, I guess, on the broadcast. That sometimes you can't hear the announcers. Well, I wonder where they got the the soundtrack from. We know that in the old days the comedy soundtrack. Some video came... game. It's from a video game. Really? Yeah, yeah I think from John like Madden's game. Twenty twenty one or whatever they call that thing. <laughs> Are they paying them royalties? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, because in the old days, didn't in the old comedy laugh tracks come from the original I Love Lucy soundtracks? Most of them yeah. did. You could always yeah. hear Lucy's mother laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Every time I watch, so you watch, you watch sitcoms now, most of the people that are laughing have been dead for 40 years. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll tell you where they're doing it right, though, Alex, is, uh, is, is for people who like the world of wrestling. I, have a, I own a charity wrestling promotion up here, so I know a little bit about the world of pro wrestling. And uh, those guys are doing it right. They've got chants where the crowd is actually chanting for certain performers and uh those guys are doing the crowds right at this point here it sounds it sounds almost seamless wow you said you you uh, own a charity football team professional wrestling but professional wrestling rather uh how do you own yeah. something that's yeah, charity yeah, I'm a wrestling but how do you own something that's charity I well, I guess I guess co-founded and am in charge of. I'm the guy that makes all the decisions. But yes, every cent that we raise goes directly to uh, the charities. But I'm the guy that runs the thing, though. So yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I'm just wondering how you had a charity where you had an owner of the charity. It, what it is essentially is it's it's a it's a trumped up fundraiser. Basically, take a the uh, take the big model of a charity golf tournament. Mm -hmm. And instead of charity golf, it's pro wrestling. Yeah. Uh, so I organize the whole thing and make sure. Yeah. So yeah. I'm the organizer. But when you say pro wrestling, now are you getting the players from yes, somewhere sir. else? Are you getting the wrestlers from somewhere else then? Yeah. So I live in Western Canada. And so what we do is um, because it's for charity, we're able to kind of cherry pick the best from the local promotions. And then we'll bring in a guy or a gal who worked for uh for Vince McMahon for a long time. We'll bring in a wrestling legend to kind of highlight each show. We obviously haven't done one since 2019, but uh, because of COVID. Yeah. But I do know the world a little bit. And 
nugget that, that they do at World Wrestling Entertainment is incredible. Well, by so, the yeah. way, we have on our show today, we're, 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 we're uh, very happy to have and, and, and feel uh, great wonderfulness to have um, the uh, Dr. Doom of our radio program, of our, uh, oh, our yeah. podcast. I can't talk today. I'm t- sorry. <laughs> uh, turn yourself sideways. Yeah, Tony. Tony's going to get more pizza. I don't know what he's doing today. Oh, don't even. I'm buying zinc for my sister. She, my sister's got COVID, Alex. I was telling Jackie. Oh. Yeah. That's what I heard. Yeah. She's got asthma, too. Oh, great. Yeah. So I didn't tell my mother. But. You didn't tell your mother. Okay. Well, then no. she's going to wonder why your sister isn't coming to visit. And guess who has to clean it later? Okay. Because guess who's going to. You have a lift, you give your mother a sponge bath later. Oh, God. You give your uh-huh. mother a sponge bath? No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to have the lady next door do it. Because I just, you know, when I hear that you had sponge, ba- what? Sponge bath? <laughs> well, not mother- like on Seinfeld. It's not like Marjorie. on Seinfeld. Marjorie just joined us. Tony just Hi. did something. Wait a minute. Hi, Marjorie. Wait, how do I set it up where I could see everybody? Gallery Wait. view. I don't have that. Oh, it's well, on the I, left. I got it. Walk got in the it. other room. Yeah. Go ahead. Walk in the other room. Let me bring something up here. I want to ask you I something, got it. Marjorie. What? Uh, you you had a sick mother, right? Yeah. At one do. point, right? Mm-hmm. Tony Tony has to go home and give his mother well, a sponge bath. I can't. I'm gonna have more. Getting- Hey, you're getting paid fifty-five thousand dollars a you're year right. plus health benefits. <laughs> exactly. You know. Right, yeah. Marjorie. You know if you have to give her a sponge bath, then you do it. Oh, I yeah, know. Suck it up. Well, how many here, raise your hands, could give your mother a sponge bath if she was still around? Not me. Not not me. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to hire somebody. You know. But Tony's getting paid a big chunk I know. of money. I'm going to have to sub let her out of things. Plus health insurance. You're going to have to what, yes. Tony? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to tell you. I'm nervous for my sister because she's got asthma. I talked to the doctor. Yeah, yeah she's so, got COVID. Yeah, yeah, she just got tested positive. Well, tell so, her to stay home. Yeah, that's what she's doing, Marjorie. She's a teacher. She thinks the doctor thinks she must have just got it Friday because I saw her the other day, but I had my mask on and she was fine. He said she probably just got it because it came out. Well, I, said, I don't know. She, she, according, she to, the note, the, according to the note you sent to Shecky, because he get, sends me a note. On every, I'm like a doctor of yours. And so yeah. he sends me all the information that he gets on you. And it said that she, what did you say, Shecky? That he, he had said that. Uh, she had sweats, a cough. Yeah. And, but, but also where she may have gotten it was she's a school oh, teacher. Oh, from school. Yes. Yeah. Alex, the kids are ripping their mask off in school. And they can't stop them for the small kids. So you know what the doctor's doing, Mr. Rubin? He's going to give her tomorrow a uh, steroid asthma to spray in her mouth. Because her lungs are good, she told me, because she's breathing. But uh, he wants to be proactive on it, just in case. Yeah. You know, so. Well. This year sucks. Trump, I'm telling you, <laughs> Trump is doing such a kibosh on us. Yeah. Yeah, well, he'll be gone soon. By the way, Charlie, Charlie's <laughs> our... Dr. Doom on this program. Every <laughs> night on our show, he gives the latest statistics. What are the latest statistics nationally? Well, this, this is from yesterday. I, I won't read the numbers until 7 p.m. tonight. So. Yeah. Uh, oh, what, what was yesterday? What was yesterday? 17,820,477 cases. <laughs> 317,597 deaths. Wow. Okay. How many deaths in one day? Um, well, we're averaging 26, 2,643 per day, but we only uh-huh. had supposedly yesterday, we only had 1,591. It always goes down on the weekend. They are not out there. They're not trying hard enough. Well, no, they say that <laughs> Cuomo was saying today that the statistics on weekends can't be really considered yeah in stone you know because they, they, they but have, isn't it people aren't nice that all the republican deniers have jumped the line yes yes pence Marco got Rubio, you know they should have said pence, yeah. you don't get one you didn't sell no, they it. already you got them get one. right hey can i ask you a question uh for my american friends down here um someone told me the other day up here that COVID deaths 
are also including suicides as a result of a lost business, a result of a lost livelihood, whatever. Somebody offs themselves, and those are being included in the COVID numbers. Only, I don't, uh, I don't know if that's watch Newsmax or what the Owen Network. <laughs> yeah, no, I've yeah. never heard that. It's, yeah, it's heard conspiracy that. nonsense of the first to, first order. <laughs> okay. It, yeah, they, they they say, oh, if you were in a car accident and died, and they tested you and you had COVID, they, it's not true. If anything, we're undercounting because places like Florida yeah. are refusing to test dead people to see if that's what killed them. Really? Okay. Yeah. So the real the real numbers, depending on who you ask, are anywhere from twenty to forty percent higher. Yeah. Than what we're seeing. Okay. Wow. Hmm. But thank God Marco Rubio got a shot. I just just yesterday talking did to someone. Really? Yeah, he did. He did. Talk, talking to people I know in Southern Ohio out in the out in the real rural areas sent me a note yesterday saying, thank goodness when I got tested, I got hydrochloroquine because I didn't have any symptoms. <laughs> no, you really got a note like that? I, I can show you. I can, oh, that is funny. Up. I can pull it up and show you to, to, that I'm not making it up. His wife wow. started taking it before him, and that's why she got better faster. Oh, boy. Wow. Yeah. And he works in a hospital. I mean, oh my God! Really? He's a maintenance guy in a hospital. He oh, runs a he's a maintenance bar. guy. Oh. Yeah. But the doc, the doctors there, that's their their treatment. Anybody who gets it gets hydrochloroquine, hydroxychloroquine. Jesus wow. Christ! Well, every blind, double blind study says that the placebo does better. <laughs> yeah. And and yeah. you know, it, it's like it's like prayer. You know, the only prayer that really works is the Indian rain dance. <laughs> no, it does because an Indian will an Indian will dance for six years if that's how long it takes for it to rain. Well, why would you pray to God? I mean, He's the one that gave us COVID. Well, yeah, if you believe, yeah, but his his bad son. Yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, Jeffrey, how's everything up in Connecticut? I noticed in back of you a lovely snow scene. I thought I'd, I'd add a little bit of snow. Yeah, looks beautiful. Of course, behind. Oh. Right. Wow. Oh, it's cold. You can have it. <laughs> what part of a Connecticut are you from? Playing today. Yeah, but here we have polar bears. Two too. people on this panel are two people I haven't seen in over a year. Who? Well, Shecky. I haven't seen you in about a year, have I? Physically. <laughs> so yeah. late January. Maybe I'm wrong. You know, I do feel I, I'm. I'm seeing you. However, I do feel that I'm not missing out on the essence of Shecky, but I haven't been able to go out there since... Uh, it's a great since, perfume, Essence to Shecky. Essence to Shecky. <laughs> since last... Uh, I think I was in out there last what? January, maybe? I think so, because yeah. I was away for New Year's Eve. And then we had lunch with Pamela and Jeff, what, over a year ago? Two years ago. A year ago or something. Right like now. two years ago. Yeah, we would have done it several more times, but then COVID came along. I got my zinc, Alex. What? I got the zinc. He had it. You had the zinc? Yeah. The doctor says give it to us, so it can't hurt. Zinc is pr is pretty good for uh, cold. Healing. For healing. Yeah. Well, it's for preventing colds, too. Uh, and the reason why is how you get a cold is you touch somebody who's got a cold and then you touch your nose yeah. and then it gets in your nose. And if it gets up past a certain point, because it adheres to the mucous membrane. Yeah, but zinc you, is also good. Wait, wait, let me finish. Let me finish. Then you get a cold. Zinc prevents germs from adhering to the mucous membrane. So that's how it helps prevent colds. But I don't know about COVID. But it's you know, also very good for healing. I've been taking it twice a day since my back surgery, and it oh, does really? help. Well, does you, help. Ma you ma married me. How's that? How's the zinc doing for I, you? I, I've tripled it. <laughs> <laughs> She's been putting it in your underwear. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Did you hear that, that according to that? The I've guy never who ran been for, with anyone wait this minute, Hold on a second. Wait, the, the, fella, the fellow who... Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I talking over somebody? No, no Andrew. Tony, turn your vo stop volume off. Okay. It was in the news that uh, reported that the guy that Putin poisoned that was running. He's running. He's running. Well, he the, they he was poisoned because they put the poison in his underwear. That's what, oh. the, that's what the investigation concluded. 
I thought he drank it. I thought it was put they, in like. Yeah. What happened? Did his girl his girlfriend die? <laughs> I don't know, but the according to the report, <laughs> wait, 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 out this wait. morning. <laughs> they, had, they had put it in his underwear in his hotel room. So when he Jack, put it, have you heard of anything like this that you can get it from having your underwear poisoned? Mm, I guess it's possible. <laughs> I heard it was liquid put in his tea or coffee. Well, there or something are, like you know, that. there are certain things that, for instance, oh, yeah. uh, who was it? Um, I think it was uh, the, the the brother of uh, of um, the head of North Korea. Um, Mm. Uh, he, he tried to have his brother killed by shaking, and was, I think, by shaking hands yeah. with somebody, because there are certain things that you can just make it touch the skin. That can absorb through the skin. And absorb through the skin, and you're dead. Hey. Yeah. Here, Alex. The Joker's been doing that for years. <laughs> <laughs> what's, your, what's your background there? I was putting up the article. Oh. Oh, there it is. Yeah, this is his admits putting poison in his underwear. <laughs> Wait, a reported, that, isn't the, that isn't the onion, is it? No, it's the Guardian. <laughs> it's here, here it is in CNN. The Guardian, another yeah. pro place. Yeah. Do we just lose sure. somebody? We I think we Russian opposition leader duped spy into revealing he, how Russian he was poisoned. Sent to tail opposition leader Alexei Navalny. Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny has accidentally revealed how Navalny was poisoned in August. The <laughs> member of an exiled top elite Moxon's team in Russia's FSB. Hmm. Okay. I, couldn't, I couldn't have made that up, Alex. I'm not that That's good. That's a crime <laughs> against nature. Yeah. <laughs> Someone had the balls to do it. They got to change your underwear. There are some orifices down below, so. Yeah. yeah, I guess. If he, he had a glove if he on when he those, put it in the underpants. If he'd have been one of those guys that turned him inside out after a day's use so that he didn't have to do so much laundry, he'd have been safe. <laughs> <laughs> or if he'd do the laundry, he'd be safe. <laughs> Boy, that, really? His underpants? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I was a up. kid, I got to tell you, one of my memories as a kid, this is when I was a I guess I was like under 10 years old because we were living on Telegraph Hill in San Francisco. And I read an article that they had poisons that could just touch your skin. skin. Yes. And, and I think it was like something like, uh, I read it was like enhanced nicotine or something like that, but they, it, they could use this and it would kill you. So now I was afraid every time I felt a splash of something on my hands, like, you know, <laughs> I was walking down the street and, you know, sometimes you feel some wetness that's coming from somewhere. I was going, oh, I got it. They're killing me. They're going to kill me with this. I remember that was one of my earliest fears. And well, they've the only gotten to Russia, worse. What? The guy, that, the guy that came back to Russia is now running against Putin. Really? Yeah. It was, yeah. Well, they're going to try again. <laughs> yeah. Yes. They had some old CSI or no, it must have been CSI or CS, SVU or something. The guy died from poison. He was allergic to nicotine. And oh, the girl and the wife was doing this. She would have nicotine in her mouth while she was doing that. Wow. Oh, was that a euphemism for blowing him? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand. Can you explain that again, please? <laughs> Yeah, so it, it must have been SBU because yeah, uh, it sounds like SBU. Time, but, but yeah, <laughs> SBU, and he was allergic to nicotine, and they're trying to figure out how he got nicotine in his body. The Russians were watching that show. <laughs> I guess. I guess they're they're to blame. Can you do that again, Brian, but a little slower, please? <laughs> okay. Right now, it's time for another edition of Ask Shecky what he's watching. <laughs> I'm watching a Zoom call. Okay. Besides that, which must be the most boring but, show. The Mandalorian, and I don't like it as much as you did. What? Did you watch the last episode? Yes. yes. Okay. I don't tell anybody. The what... before the call. Yeah. They but... all no, die. I, I imagine the Mandalorian takes place in the middle of the Star Wars story. It's after, after Return of the Death Star blows. Oh, it's okay. five years after Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Okay. 
because there's something that happens in the last episode that couldn't happen unless it was happening in the middle of the story. And I wouldn't have stayed for the end had you not told me to watch the credits. Yeah, you see. So the, anyone, watch the credits. Yeah. Absolutely. But you didn't like it as much this year? No, no, I just found it kind of boring. You didn't like Shatner's performance? <laughs> Uh, I thought I cried. I cried twice during the episode. During that last one, I did. Yeah, yeah. I did too. Yeah. Uh, because Shecky's a heartless fuck. <laughs> yeah, but I yeah. owe Shecky a thank you. He told me to check out the new Creatures Great and Small. I found it finally. It was good. It's really good. On the first episode, yeah. The it's trouble good. is with Shecky is that I I think I oversold it to him. So he was yeah, expecting that's possible, more, you, that's you, what happens. You were expecting more than you got, but you got to admit, isn't that one of the best produced shows on television? I mean, oh, visually, it's stunning. Yeah, yeah. But dramatically, it was just kind of like, yeah, okay, yeah, fine. You know what we? You know, watched, enough with the little green kid. You know. Anybody here <laughs> watching um, uh, his, his dark, his, his dark, dark, dark yes. materials? Yes. Huh? Yes. Well. That, that was taken from a book, and the book was made into a movie before they did the series. In 2005. In 2000, no, 2008, I think. Was it? Yeah. That, that's happened before. Right? And it was, that, called, it was called The Gold Compass, so I went and got myself a copy of it, and we, we watched, watched it. it. it and it's, it's almost like the, the special effects, it's all the same special effects with the little animals and stuff like that. And uh, the it was story great. is exactly the same, and it was great. It's one of the few times you I've ever seen like a TV series. I went back to the movie it was based on, and you go, the movie wasn't as good. This is terrific, you know. We watched this whole thing and went, it's like we're watching another episode of this thing. Like what they did when they did the series was they picked up where the movie left off. You know, and it really, if you get a chance to see it, it's hard to find. And it was supposed to be like a series of movies, but it did so badly they didn't do the sequel. Yeah, the Golden Compass is available on HBO Max. Is it available on HBO yeah, Max? Yeah, it is. Which, oh. by the way, you can get on your Roku now. I know, but very badly, though. Have I told oh. you about that? Have you, have you tried it, Shecky, on your Roku? It's confusing. Mm -hmm. But does it, when you're playing something or you, or you boot it up, does it sometimes go back to the main Roku screen? I'll tell you, I don't think I've really watched anything on it, the service yet, oh, even though okay. I have it on Roku. Okay. So I, have, I, don't I, know. I haven't had any problems with it. You're, really? Because I, on all my Rokus, if I'm watching something, if I boot it up, I go to it, it goes on, and then sometimes it doesn't boot completely, it goes back to the main Roku screen. And then I occasionally I'll be watching something and I'll turn to something else. Like I wanted to watch a particular Warner Brothers cartoon and I would click on it and it boots back to the, to the main screen. Just from a smart TV with Roku or a separate Roku? A separate Roku. See, I, I'm doing it with a Roku TV. It's my yeah, Well, this is a Roku Ultra yeah, yeah. and two of them. And it does it all on all of them. Uh, and um, then I, I went online and there are about at least 100, if not 200, complaints about people having exactly the same problem. When it's an I, issue. I never had this problem when I watched it on Apple TV. <clears throat> but it seems like for some reason, HBO didn't exactly code their program well or something. And I'm sure they'll clean it up eventually. But in the meantime, it's very annoying. It's a pain in the neck. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know what Warner Brothers cartoon you wanted to watch. What? Mm -hmm. I can't even remember which one it was because they have like about 400 of them. Yeah, they've, got, they've them. got so many. It's great. It's yeah, great. yeah. So sometimes I just go over there and watch one. I say, oh, I want to, you know, see Frisky Pup. You know, so I go watch one of those. Belated happy birthday, by the way, Alex. Uh, yeah, well, it's over with now. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm, I'm, I'm uh, this many. <laughs> <laughs> how, how many months? What? How many, how many months? You know, I mean, you have to know well, months. I, I should start doing that. How old are you? I'm 81 and two thirds. <laughs> you do that when you're a kid because you don't want to, you, you want to yeah. seem a little older than you want to get to the next one. Yeah. 
but uh, you're, you're in the next group, right? 75, 75 plus is the next group for vaccine. Yeah. We're, no, we're group C. Yeah, but the, the next group is going to be 75 plus. Yeah. 75 plus. In New York State, he's doing it. In New York State, it's going to be 75 plus. So we're next? Well, we're next after about a two thousand. billion other people. Yeah. After Alexandra Ocasio, whatever her name is. You know, she got it. <laughs> did she she jumped it? the line too. How did you jump the line? They, all the congressmen are, you know, getting it. They, well, yeah, they're, they're setting an example yeah. for us. Huh? <laughs> they yeah. make the laws. Some of these people, some of those people, should be the last people to get it. And the bad thing is, when they're ready for their second shot, instead of you coming up there, they're going to be going down because all these people for their second shots are going to be going through. Hmm. Boy. So, so Ocasio Cortez got it. Yeah, and I think she televised it too, like all these other ones are. Like, I really want to watch some woman get a shot in her arm. Great. Well, that, 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 that's a good thing, though, because that at least is encouraging. Well, people. my yeah. my question is, that to begin with, this is not a vaccination in the true sense, because vaccinations usually are you shoot people up with a killed virus. Okay. No, they just changed no. the delivery system. No, Alex. no, no, no. They didn't. It's not they changed the delivery system. They did. No, they didn't. They, in they, the old they, days, they the were delivery system is through a was. is through a needle. What I'm saying is, what they have is an it's called RDMA or something like that, and it it it's not a vaccine to speak of. It no. is something that tells your system. Here's here's an instruction manual on how to kill the coronavirus. Okay. M mRNA. R R R R what is it called? A mRNA. R M messenger. That's a messenger. So it goes there, it tells it what it looks like. So yeah. when it does come, they can attack it. So my question and they is, can do all the different cells. Well, my question the, is the is different this cells a, in the body. Is, Isn't that it, correct, Brian? I think so. Yeah. 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 But the question is, is this truly a vaccine? Oh, Alex. Well, no, wait a minute. Needle, Vaccines right? <laughs> always use the killed virus. My and my point is this: if they didn't call it a vaccine, more people might be willing to take it. I doubt well, it. Yeah, but what are you going to call it? No, well, because my vaccine, <laughs> yeah. uh, vaccine kind of... seems to indicate to most people that they're going to get a shot of the virus. Okay, that's the way every other vaccine has worked that you've taken. <laughs> But if you say it's something else, call it something else. I'm sure they could come up with a better word for call it. the COVID shot, but I don't think it would make yeah, any difference. The, the COVID solution or whatever. I don't think it would change people's attitude. I think it would. I, I think people would, would not be, because you know, you had this, this anti-vaxxing that went on courtesy of Jenny goddamn fucking McCarthy uh, uh, that went on and people are just, you know, such anti-vaxxers. Oh, it's going to cause this and it's going to cause that. I think the, the, the worst part I've heard about the, uh, the vaccine, uh, about this vaccine is that it, uh, it sends out signals or something uh, to, tell, to tell people where you are. The only thing is, these are the same people carrying around an Apple iPhone. So, you know, I mean, come on. I'm going to have to go because I'm going to go. I'm going to talk. I'll talk to you tomorrow because I'm is going that, up to the front. Is that, the, good night, Marjorie. Is that, the, house, is that the front of your house? Yeah. Yeah. Do people yeah, laugh at you when you're walking down the street with that silly mm -hmm. mask yeah. on? Yeah. We yeah. paid some. My reef fell off the house, actually. You had a guy come do it. It fell off. I got to have him come back. Look at this. It was hanging up. Where is it? Can you see it? See it, Tony. Oh. Wait a minute. Yeah. There's my wreath. It should have been in the front door, but it fell down. It fell down. I thought they tried to steal it. Who knows? Boy, you have such tragedy in your life, Tony. Mm -hmm. I know. This, this Hi, Tony. Yeah. I'll talk to you later, Marjorie. You, you think Marjorie's Hi, trying Tony. to get rid of you? <laughs> okay. oh, sorry. All right. I'll talk Bye, to Tony. You. Everybody wait. Yeah. Bye, Tony. I'll talk to you tomorrow, guys. Thank Bye -bye. you. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Did you ever hear the story about the song, A Spoonful of Sugar? What's this again? Oh, the a song. A Spoonful of Sugar from Mary Poppins. It, well, One of the Sherman brothers had a song in there that Mary, um, Julie Andrews didn't like. And his son came home and said he got a polio vaccine on a sugar cube. Yeah. And then he wrote the song. 
Oh. A spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. That's interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Sure. It makes sense. Doesn't yeah. It? And that's how he wrote the song that night. Yeah. And of course, she loved that one. Yes. I wonder what the song was she didn't like. <laughs> it was I can't remember the name of it, but it was something she just didn't want to do. I think it was a Mary Poppins song about Mary Poppins sings it called I Never Get Laid. I think that was the name. <laughs> of the song. It was called Take Your Damn Medicine, Kid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was a punk song. She didn't want some punk. <laughs> no, it was, I think I'm a dominatrix. <laughs> I'm a dominatrix. <laughs> I like I like Julie Andrews and how surly she's. I don't know if she was always surly, but she's surly now. I used to watch her on Craig Ferguson, and I just I'm delighted by uh, how little how 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 little fucks that she gives. She's awesome. Well, she she had a kind of a, a, a yeah that that touch of of, uh, of um, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't come up with words today. I took an I took an Ambien last night. Not an Ambien. What is it? What is it? Was Xanax. Xanax. Panics. Can't even remember what I take anymore, and I haven't been able to wake up all day. Like what else is new? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so we have Christmas coming up. Yep. Now, for the Jews here, and they're all in the top row, folks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've 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 uh, we've taken the Jews, and there aren't any other Jews here beside us, are there? I think the rows are different for everybody, though. Yeah, the oh, oh, right. I observe for for who are you calling right. Jew? For Name Jew. the Jew. Let's play the game. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so we don't celebrate Christmas. Um, we do. We celebrate we the holidays. Wait yeah. a minute. Maybe you do, we Jeff. Have you ever something. actually celebrated Christmas? No, but you celebrate the week. T turn your mic on. Turn there you go. Turn your mic on, Jeff. Wait a minute. He's going to do it. We'll get, yeah. There you Jeff, go. Jeff, I... No, I, my wife is a Christian, so I've got to. Oh, you married a Christian? Yep. Oh. Mm. Boy, you're a Shonda for the Goy. Anyway. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but it sounds funny. Yeah. <laughs> do you, Brian? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I'll explain. No, I don't know what you said, but it sounded yeah. funny. So, yeah, so anyway, so she, so does she celebrate it? Do you have a Christmas tree in the house? Christmas tree. Yep. Really? Yep. Oh, bitch. Want one or not? We had a Christmas tree, and then after that, I put greens up. All right. You had a, Christmas, had a Christmas tree when course. you were. What kind of Jewish one. family were you? <laughs> How about you, Shecky? Christmas trees in your house? Maybe when I was four or five, but I think maybe like one year, maybe. Oh, well, so it's always fun to watch Jews try and put up a Christmas tree. Well, it's a Hanukkah. 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 Because I remember when I was married, my wife Susan, she went, you know, I've what I've always wanted, and now that I'm married, and so, on, and we have a little family here, I would love to have. I said, what? She said, a Christmas tree. Now, to me, that was an anathema because when I mentioned Christmas tree to my parents, they would start yelling at me. <laughs> okay. You know, how different we don't have Christmas trees. We're Jewish, right? So we never had a Christmas tree. So I never had a Christmas tree when even when I was living by myself. And finally, she said, and I think every Jewish girl wanted that when she got away from home and got married. And let's get a Christmas tree. Okay. So I went across the street and I bought a Christmas tree. You and I have one. Well, wait a minute, let me finish. Okay. So I brought it home and I suddenly realized they don't stand up on their own. <laughs> Drill a hole in the ground. But you have to go, <laughs> you have to go buy all the other stand. stuff. Yeah. So I go back across the street and they've got all the other stuff too. So I buy the stand and I buy the lights and I buy the... Uh, um, ornaments uh, uh, or ornaments yeah oh, good stuff. and i bring them home and uh we put up the tree which it took forever for us to get it straight up and down because it stan had these screws in it do you, yeah. you know you all know that technology don't you yes <laughs> okay we didn't uh and uh then um uh, 
Um, we started putting up the ornaments, which we broke five of them before we ever got one up. You know? <laughs> so we couldn't do that straight. And then uh, it, it, we put it, we got the tinsel to put around the tree and they were doing the worst job possible because we're Jews. We didn't do this, you know. People used to come over to Gentiles' homes and have tr tree trimming parties or whatever, you know, not us. So we had this tree and uh, it stayed up, I think, till April. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Until most of the tree had actually wound up on the rug. Uh, and um, uh, we didn't put a star up on top of ours. We put a, a, a we put Bugs Bunny. A menorah. No, we put Bugs Bunny. Yeah, we put a menorah. <laughs> Lit it. Up and uh, so we had our first Christmas tree. I think that was the last time I ever had a Christmas tree. Did we have one? We more? had the Christmas tree. And then after that, I just put greens up along the fireplace. Yeah, but, 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 but did we have them in this apartment? Yes, we yes. did, didn't we? Well, I don't remember. What, I'm an old man. I forget all this stuff. <laughs> Plus, I have, I, I guess everybody does, and I'm Jewish, but I have a collection of ornaments from over feel, the years. How does it feel? That you just add never, on. Never, and never all of a sudden, you fill the whole ornaments. tree. Yeah, we so never I have a whole basket of them. How does it feel being married to a really old guy? <laughs> well, <laughs> be nice because I'm then going to say how it feels to be married to a really old woman. Okay, let's, 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 <laughs> let's drop it. See, her, hair, was, is, her, her hair has gone gray because she hasn't only colored. in the front. We mean only in the front. Your whole hair is no, look at the back, huh? Mm. Well, like we can't see it. It's yeah, no. it's it's a little dark still. So, so what do you what, have? Have they started already prepping everybody for no New Year's Eve party in uh, in the Times Square? Well, I mean, there's nothing to prep. Yeah, They're not going to hold the New Year's Eve party. Be... I mean, what, what's going on? Because I've heard like CNN, Anderson Cooper's live. Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah, they're doing a, a. I watched CNN and they had an ad for Anderson Cooper and who's right. the gay guy? The other gay Andy, guy, Andy, Andy something. Andy yeah, he, it's going to be a gay. It's going to be all gay Christmas. So uh, New Year's over at the. But they'll CNN. do it from where they always do it. Yeah. They just won't have crowds, no people. Well, then why do it from where what you always hell? do it? Why, why do it? Yeah, they that? spend half the time showing the crowd and everybody drunk and peeing on each other <laughs> it, was, it was such a dark year this is the ball they're going to drop what were well, you trying to say you know they around macy's or something what what around macy's the thanksgiving day parade oh well, that was pathetic that was one the parade was one city block oh. That was it. It was in front of Macy's. There for it. I, I think they're doing a rockin' New Year's Eve too on one of the networks, so, but I, you know, I just don't get it. <laughs> well, they used um, footage of the crowds from last year or the year before. <laughs> <laughs> just, just show last year. Yeah. Oh, are, they have the ball uh, here back. down in Times Square. They're putting up ten thousand little. Uh, cardboard cutouts. Cardboard cutouts. <laughs> 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 and CGI 2021 on the people's faces. I see this in the football games I watch and some of the sports events I watch where they got those those cardboard mm -hmm. people sitting in, yeah, in sitting the stands. In the and I'm going, what's... And they pump in Why are you doing this? It's it's ridiculous. It was, well, it was, because was, they sold those people. Yeah, and right. Never find dollars. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're real people. It was good for the dog show. They had like dogs in the seats. <laughs> Did they really? Posters of dogs. Yeah, it was pretty adorable. Where Where they, they, hold it they pay they money to, you know, be yeah. in the quote stand. They didn't hold it in Madison Square Garden this year, did they? No, this was this was not Westminster. This was another. Oh, okay. uh, Westminster's usually in February, so I don't know if they're going to have that at the garden or not. Right. There was no. It was in a, it was some big hall, but nobody. Well, was I'm there. just I'm just sick of everybody wanting to. You know, we're living in extraordinary times and they don't want to live extraordinarily. You know, they want all their st stuff back. They want the football games and so on. Who wants the football And our games? new normal is is not what we left. Let me ask it's Shecky. New. Shecky, who, who most of all wants the football games back? The colleges. Oh, because they're getting $100 billion from the networks. Okay, oh, but yeah. who else? Yeah. Bookies. Exactly. Bookies. Yeah. Gambling. Uh, the, the, the only the, reason why these sports are even on is because of the gambling. That's not true. That's because yeah, of the advertising and the revenue. 
as a guy who's never watched a game in his life, I everyone I know was just wishing, wishing they would have games again. I didn't understand it. I never watched them. Before. I, I never they want to gamble. I never watch them either. The only time I ever watched a football game is somebody held a Super Bowl party and I went to it and they had this pool. So I put two dollars oh. into the pool and guess who won the pool? <laughs> you. Me. And I don't even know how the game is played. I don't either. Okay. There's a lot, a lot of money in the fantasy sports. So fantasy football yeah. and all that stuff too. A lot of money. Well, you know, I mean, the thing is that people always say to me, how do you not know how football is played? And I've never been able to get how it's played. I've you don't had, know basketball I've, I've had big football players like Joe Montana and so on try to explain it to me. You have to care. And if you don't care, like I don't yeah, care. And, and as soon as they get to yeah, it, you have to, right. get, you have to get it down. If Jerry Rice couldn't explain it to you, you're never going to laugh. Jerry Rice tried to explain it to me. He sat there. He said, there's a, there's a down. And when you get it down, I'm, he lost me from down he got. <laughs> All right. You got to explain it better than down. What is a down besides something on a duck? You know, 81 <laughs> folks, 81, 81 just, years. And just, I've managed to saying. avoid football. I like <laughs> Jackie will admit to I'll, I admitted this to Shecky on many an occasion. I like I like baseball, but I don't follow it. I just he like doesn't baseball. understand it. In other words, if I go to a baseball game, nothing better. What a wonderful day. Yeah. I have a sun, hot dogs, people. Am I right, Shecky? Yeah. A Yankee Stadium, fresh lemonade. Yeah. Yeah. So I love that. I love all that it's about, the, the, the pastoral feeling of it. I mean, people are literally hanging out around a field. Well, it's uh, also spring and summer where football is a winter type sport. Oh, yeah. well, but, where you're yeah, but, rear off. But you're right. The, yeah. past, the, the pastoral quality, it's not governed by the clock. It's yeah. it. Yeah. It's Tennis it's, is like that. It's very calming. Yeah, that's why there's so many good baseball novels. There are no good football novels. No, nope. <laughs> a lot of it's it's one. A, a lot of great ball yeah. novels. A lot of great ball mo baseball movies. Yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah. And football is terrible live now because when you're in the stands and you're sitting there waiting for something to happen and you find out they're at a commercial timeout. For baseball, when they go from commercial to commercial, they do their warm up. He does so many pitches and then they're back. So they, yeah. they never expand well, that. Also, they no don't go in baseball. In, in baseball, they have these natural breaks. Okay. Yep. Yeah, uh, uh, innings, yeah. It's called an inning. And so they just know how many breaks they're going to take in that time. And they go away for a couple of minutes between innings. Right. And in that, we usually take that much time to change the team and everything like that. But, uh, uh, it, 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 you know, football, football always seemed very klutzy to me. Yeah. You know, it didn't seem like it was as I, I look upon baseball as a skill. Correct me if I'm wrong, Rick. Would you agree with that? It's a skill. Baseball is a skill, but I think football is a skill also. I don't yeah. think yeah. I, don't well, think, no. I don't think football is a skill. I think it's being just, able uh, no. being able to hit a ball thrown at you a hundred miles an hour, not knowing where it's coming. <laughs> that's a skill. And Absolutely. The fact oh, that if, yeah. you it, if you do it so three times three. three, three you also miss one and two in every three right. at no, that's the thing, though. If you do it, if you hit it three out of ten times, right, you're one of the best in the game. So yeah. that's how difficult it is to do. But, but all sports are skills. I mean, they are. Look at tennis. Sure, sure they're all, all of them. Tennis is a skill, but I don't see football as a skill. Skill is a brute force game. It's a brute force game. It's a brute force game. Running the the throw. If, if, in, if in baseball you go around bumping into people and knocking them down, what will they do? They'll throw you out of the goddamn yeah. game. <laughs> the bench is all clear and they'll have a big fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But with football, the object is to knock somebody down. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, like but they, <laughs> well, but I they all that is... get around and pray that the poor fellow isn't dead. <laughs> <laughs> but the big, the, yeah. big thing, the big thing in football is a quarterback. When the quarterback sees the defense, they have to be able to read the defense. They'll change the line, so they'll change that defense for the play that they're going to play. So there's a lot of skill at the Can very you beginning. Explain of the that play. to me. What you just oh, said. Right. it's already glazing. <laughs> Made perfect sense to me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think and I'm our team that. suck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> our team suck, and we're still watching every game. <laughs> no, yeah. Explain that again. If you overpay for your ticket, they give you a quarterback. 
and then you just got to up on No, our teams are letting us quarterback. Hey, I heard the rumor that the Jets won a game. I don't think I couldn't believe that. I don't. Yeah. I, I don't think at uh, at the football games they have bobblehead day. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Yeah, but they sell those seat licenses that were supposedly a great investment. Right. Oh, yeah. really? They have head injury days. Am, am, mm. I, am, I, am I crazy to think that basketball would be a lot better if games were like four minutes long? No, <laughs> basketball's fun to watch live because you can see the play developing when guys are yeah. open. But if it doesn't come it's, down it's, to the last four minutes, it's a shitty game, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I watch college, I'll just watch the last five minutes and I yeah, see exactly. Yeah, that's what really all you need. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, we're watching. Uh, my problem is uh, the only time I watch football is when I'm waiting for 60 minutes to come. <laughs> yeah. And every time I go over to see whether the game is still on, they go, well, two minutes on the clock. And Marjorie goes, well, that's half, be half. Another half, yeah, half an hour later. <laughs> and and NASCAR just watch for the crash. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 60 minutes will follow the football game, except on the West Coast. Right. Yeah. I wish I lived on the West Coast. It would come on on time. Yeah. And I could totally miss watching these guys bump into each other. You know. And then sometimes if the game runs short, they start running games from other places. Yeah. Oh, yeah. To fill the time. <laughs> and I'm going, can't you run 60 minutes early? <laughs> you know. All about money. And, and what about, about overtime? Well, about about overtime. Yeah. yeah. So that's after the Bill Maher show. They do that on YouTube. Overtime. Do they? Overtime. <laughs> overtime with Bill Maher. Right. Yeah, yeah. Overtime. Yeah. You overtime watch the ones. It's like less than a minute. <clears throat> so I'll probably do one of these next week as well, even though we're taking mm -hmm. the Christmas week off because, you know, it's still it's not Christmas yet. You know. Doing one of what? The, these shows. Oh. What about, okay. the, what about the I night like shows? these shows. I, I, this is my favorite shows. This is the only one that Checky will put up with. <laughs> it's the only one I can stay awake for. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Alex, a show and tell episode where we all bring one of the presents that we got to show off. Yeah, <laughs> can I nice. can I read you something? Oh, it just I, I just lost it. Voting okay. machine companies threaten. Shit. Uh, they're going to threaten to sue. Yeah, so threaten to sue the right wing media. Yeah, for their lies. Yeah. yeah. And libelous, you yeah. Know, I would if I were Dominion, I would sue the hell out of them. Yeah. Oh, one of the yeah. Things, right after I changed my name from Dominion to something more reasonable. <laughs> one of the things you have to prove in a libel lawsuit is that what they're doing can cause you trouble in conducting your business. And they it's absolutely clear that it yeah. can damage their business. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my god, yeah. All all of the all of the things they would need to win that lawsuit are already proven. So yeah. I guess yeah. they'll sue Fox, they'll sue OAN. They'll sue Newsmax. Well, yeah. oh, Fox has been Warriors. running those. New Trump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trump. Yeah. Sue Trump. Yeah. Yeah. The oh, crazy, that crazy lawyer that supposedly isn't with him right. with the White House. Right. Now, speaking of Trump, you said we're all ready for martial law here? Yeah, yeah. he's going to seize power militarily. Yeah. Jackie, you were trying to say something. Oh, I forgot. Oh, no, no. Fox <laughs> had to run these apology videos over the weekend during all those shows. Oh, wow. you know, what's her name? Jeannie Pirro and those other. <laughs> and, and when they were running, did you see any of them? No, because I don't watch those shows. Well, but it was like a five minute video debunking what their hosts were saying. Wow. Because oh. they're afraid of being sued by Dominion. Yeah. Well, and also, they could be. their ratings, they're not number one anymore. Oh, nope. we lost uh, Lynn LaFrisco. Um, CNN is. Huh? Really? Yeah. Well, because wow. all the writers moved over to those other two networks, whatever they're yeah. called. Yeah. And they're being spread out between them. Yep. And by the way, if you haven't watched OAN, those women got great tits. God <laughs> damn it. Um, I, there's a woman on at six o'clock at night, a blonde with huge, a, a rather enormous rack, who really <laughs> doesn't sound like she knows anything, but she's a right winger. But Fox started that way too. Yeah. No, but Fox started up with some male hosts. There were no, no male I'm hosts I'm over at OAN. They're all female. All female. Yeah, oh, make, oh, it, make it Kelly What are you going to say, Shecky? You going to say something? No. All the weather girls are like that here. 
California, all the weather girls are because they go to the weather screens and they got the shh, you know, mm -hmm. the shh and the shh. <laughs> we don't we don't have that many. Oh, hold on, here comes Lynn again. Um, uh, I think Lynn's been having some problems today, staying online. Uh, here it comes. What, Lynn, have you had trouble staying online? Is that what it is? <laughs> I think the Russians hacked me. <laughs> <laughs> The Chinese get it right. We haven't heard much from you today. You got, you got any comments on what we're saying? I haven't heard. Of, I, I I was just I was uh, frozen for a minute. I do have something I want to share with you, though. I thought it was very interesting. If you look, there was an article in the New York Times uh, last week um, with Anthony Fauci, and they were looking at the books behind him to see what he's reading. And one of the things is my uncle's cookbook. The LaFrisco family cookbook. Really? Mm. And I'll, I'll put the uh, the link in the chat. You can click on it. It's really funny to see that Anthony Fauci is reading my uncle's book. <laughs> That's terrific. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, put, I, put it, I just put it in the chat. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. From Lynn LaFrisco to everyone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Pretty, pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah, who, who knew? My uncle just passed about two months ago, so unfortunately he didn't get a chance to see that. But <laughs> what I like about your background is your your background is the tasteful version of Tony's wallpaper. Mm. <laughs> yes. You know. Um, but uh, um, so what are you, are you going to do Christmas? Are any of you going to have people over? I hope not. No. Nope. You know, I just you know, we got one. We got one more year to take care of this, and then we'll be back to some amount of normal. Although I'm wondering if people are going to continue to wear masks. At least till the next summer, they say. Well, no, but yeah. if the, I don't know that I might not continue to wear them, or at least wear them like they do in places like China and so yeah. on. That when you have a cold, you wear a mask. You know, uh, well, the flu season. Yeah, I mean, you go to China and you walk down the street and there's some people there. Everyone's are, wearing uh, a mask. Yeah. Not everybody, but people but who a feel good chunk. that they're ill uh, wear it. It's just considered common in a lot of countries. It's not so much that they're <laughs> ill, but so they don't get anything. And what I've wondered, and Shecky, you got to have an opinion on this. Uh, what's going to happen to the movie theaters? Do you think people are going to suddenly go f charging back to the movie theaters anymore? No. Uh, yeah. You know, you always mention how much does it cost you when you used to go mm -hmm. to your comfy theater? Right? Yeah. With abs and twelve dollar popcorn. popcorn and else. You and know. Like this 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 um um this well you comes. get Wonder Woman on Friday or well, Thursday. Yeah. Friday. Friday we're getting Wonder Woman on uh HBO Max. Max. And it's not a cheap version of it, it's the full big multi hundred billion dollar whatever yeah. picture that they made. And and the other thing is, over on Disney is is what Michael Snyder said movie is the ever best Pixar, he says is the best Pixar film he ever saw called Soul, uh, which is being released oh, at well. Disney Plus. By the way, you've got to see Wonder Woman within a month that they take it off. Mm -hmm. So it's only yeah. on for a month. Uh, then I don't know what they do with it. Turn well, it, then they'll sell there. a Blu-ray, and then they'll sell, and then it'll go to regular HBO or something. Well, they'll sell it online too. You can rent it. Yeah, yeah. So, but uh, but, uh, and a lot of people don't have HBO Max, so they will have to still go to you know the mm -hmm. movie theater or to buy it online or watch it online. I'm going to the movies now, though. You got to go see the finance manager just to buy a ticket and some popcorn. Yeah, <laughs> <right>. ridiculous. <laughs> well, no, I used to say what happens with Marjorie and I, we have to take a, a cab over there. And that costs yeah. us, that costs us uh, 15 bucks each way. Yeah. Okay, so that's 30 bucks in cab fare alone. Then the tickets come to about $42, and we're buying senior tickets if we're going to see a 3D movie. Yeah. And, then, and then the popcorn. And then the popcorn. Is a, is another fifteen. By the time you're through, you spent fifteen. Uh, you spent eighty, ninety dollars to go more to than it's worth. And then you walk out of the theater saying, "Boy, that sucked." Right. <laughs> or not in three D when you paid for three D. 
Yeah. Right. Yes. And you don't need a babysitter on top of it. It's crazy. Right. Out of control. You might need one for hours. Well, I remember when I was a kid, and they had 3D movies. They didn't charge you more for the 3D movie, but they charged you, I think it was 10 cents for, for the, the glasses. glasses. Yeah. <laughs> which were cardboard glasses. Yep. Yeah. But they were real 3D movies. They were shot with two cameras. They were shot by <clears throat> by Focally. Really, not by Focally, whatever. The really sad thing to me about the movies downtown New York here is that, you know, right before the pandemic, they totally redid the quad and um, film forum. And those are places that show film on film. Still, not, it's not all digital. They Wait show a minute. Do they, Shecky? Because I thought they do. he does show film stuff. forum is basically on film. They will do digital on occasion. On occasion. And the quad does more digital than film, but they do film as well. And they have guests and directors. Pacino came for Dog Day Afternoon. And they had like a few months of this beautiful art house theaters, and then they shut down. And I, don't, I doubt they'll reopen. Because that I'd go to. Well, Film Forum is, um, what's the word? It's not for profit. It's a nonprofit. Correct. Theater. Right, but the quad put in a beautiful bar. You know, it's just a really nice place to see some. some <clears throat> and it was, I think, twelve dollars or thirteen dollars. They weren't charging the twenty buck tickets. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I. Uh, the, the part, but that's what will be left. In case people don't know who's watching us in other parts of the country, the film forum is how do we how do we describe it? It's almost. Uh, it's, it's, it's not an art. Three or four screens. One is repertory, and the others are. New documentary documentaries and films that won't get shown anywhere else right right and luckily uh, i get there, so that's you len len that's me again yeah, yeah. Put the mute. Just mute i don't know what put on mute there you go yeah oh, yeah yeah no film forum comps me so you know i'm always happy to go there yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we you and I have gone there on several occasions to see. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, and, and it's always amazing stuff. It's not crappy movies. You yeah, know? no, you know, you can't really go wrong. You could say, I don't know what that is, I'll just go see it. And it's gonna be interesting or decent. It's not gonna right. be terrible. Right. Well, it's it's a it's a I guess we could call it a repertory house. Well, one screen is repertory. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's one that Bruce Goldstein runs. And then I forget her name. She runs like the other two screens. All right. Okay. All right. And it's a nonprofit theater. And the best best popcorn I've had in a theater. (laughs) They have a great snack bar. They do. They do. Well, that's every every reason they want it to open up. But I think that basically, I think theaters are dead. Mm -hmm. I think people have gotten too used to now watching these films at home. Right. Well, because you have 65 inch screens at home. Where oh, look not- who's here. Hi. Uh-huh. Hi. Let, 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 let Shecky finish what you're saying. Yes, Shecky. No, I said it's not a 20 inch screen anymore when you're home. Right. Yeah. Right. It's a big, like, hell. Hey, Adrian, how you doing, kiddo? What's happening? Hi. Boy, your hair is getting long. Oh. <laughs> is that COVID yeah, I, hair? Is that COVID? Hi. Did uh, you say happy birthday, remember Alex? Yeah. Okay. He remembers Alex as Alex goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a kid face. Only kids are allowed to do that, but I do it anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we've uh, we've run out of time here. Oh God, boy! This is so nice. It's so nice. I just mm. look forward to this. Uh, this is just like meeting with a whole bunch of good friends who just uh, are amiable and everything else so i just i just want to thank you for being here isn't this pleasant charlie yeah it's more pleasant than the nighttime show oh yeah what's the night schedule what what what's the night schedule then what's the night schedule what yeah you, you tuesday are you gonna do just tuesday wednesday or just doing tuesday and wednesday and then we're off until after new year's oh okay yeah because we always do that every year and oh. Quite frankly, it gives me a rest, but we'll still do this one, okay? Because yeah. okay. I don't mind doing this at all. This is just, this is so easy for me. Even the day like where I took a pill last night that kept me woozy. Was it a bad pill or a good pill? It was the, It was just the pill. It was the, oh. the Xanax. 
and it put me, uh, you know, keeps me, uh, 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 you know, makes me a little loopy, but I've had a good time here, you know. Oh, good. Uh, uh, gee, she's looking so adult today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does her black pink dances and sometimes they're sec too sexy and it's like, okay, <laughs> slow down, slow down. I can't post anything oh, anymore hey, because well, I, she's I said, doing... I, I tell you, you, go, you should go out now and size baseball bats uh, to keep the guys away from the house yeah. when she gets a little bit older. Yeah. But uh, she doesn't know what we're talking about, but she will. <laughs> and when, just she, gets, away, when she gets to be in her teens, she's going to just make your life a living hell. <laughs> uh, the other two are right now, too. Yeah. <laughs> get used to it. Hey, listen, yeah. uh, uh, Jeffrey, good talking to you, Jeff. Great. Always great having you here. You're not lying down today. No. No, no Shecky is not lying down today. No, I am. He's semi my <laughs> yeah. You just seem to be more propped up than you usually are. Uh, uh, I'm Steve, trying. Always love having you here, Shecky. You're just great. And people say wonderful <laughs> things about you, too. Steve, no, they're there. wrong. <laughs> Mike Chisholm, always nice to hear from you from Canada. Uh, Charlie Wallace, pleasure. Uh, always a pleasure. Uh, Andrew Deutsch, thank you. Brian Neary, I really appreciate it. Marjorie Miller, who uh, is married to, who are you married to? <laughs> Some old the 81 year old. The 81 year old. <laughs> Glenn <laughs> Lefristo, great hearing from you as well. Uh, thank you, Alex. And uh, what was not literally hearing oh, yeah. is noisy. Yeah. <laughs> to Tony as well as he went shopping. To <laughs> Bye. Month. Anyway, uh, to all of you, thank you for having me. Happy Christmas, everyone. Yeah, happy Christmas happy, to all happy, of you. Happy Christmas, Christmas to you. Okay. All righty. Bye bye. All right. <laughs> so, we have to hang up on everybody, and we have to stop uh, the Facebook show. So we go say goodbye to that. And we'll say goodbye to the recording that we're making. So goodbye.